Today we're gonna do some bus stuff. We have been waiting six months to do bus stuff. Hey everybody, it is Brian. And Robert. And we're two bears in a bus and we are back. It's uh, April 1st, April, no, April 3rd now. Yeah. Uh, we're finally out of the city after six months of being trapped in our condo. We are back in the wilderness, so this is amazing. And we've got Edgar here, so uh, we're gonna do some things on Edgar, not as uh, big as last time, obviously, because we did a ton of stuff last winter and last summer, um, but we've got a few things. So we'll take you on the tour and we go along. Bye. Here we go. So after using the bus last year, we realized that this thing has to go. It's too big and cumbersome. It weighs, uh, you know, probably 50 to 100 pounds. And I sleep on that side of the bed and it just, it feels too crowded. So unfortunately we're gonna disassemble this and take it out and that is on our task to do today. And all the hoses and stuff go through under this crown molding. So that's gonna be interesting. And then we'll have to kind of repair that area. Uh, but I don't think it'll be too bad. So here we go. All right, we got the uh, casing off. That actually came off pretty easy. Trying to figure out how to salvage this bit here. The way we built in is kind of built the wall out a bit. So there's a bunch of weird shaped wood, pieces of wood I can't unscrew. And then I got to deal with all of this under here and the wiring. So that's going to be next. I don't know if I'm going to record that. I'll just record us taking it down. So stay tuned. Oh, it wouldn't be a bus project if I didn't cut my knuckles open already. Cool. Nope. Oh, but of course, nothing's easy. We're gonna actually have to pull it out piece by piece because we can't even get up into some of these bolts. So, good times. Something that should go quick, never does. Success, we got it out. Wow, that was annoying. Now I gotta work on these hoses and the electrical and see how these bolts are attached and if I need to just angle grind them off, pull this carpet out and stuff. But how do you feel? Oh, better. <laughs> Joyous? <laughs> Good. Uh, so a couple things. I got a lot of complaints about our audio on the videos on YouTube, so sorry about that, but check it out. Boom, we got a microphone now, so we are officially vloggers. Uh, anyways, here's where I'm at on this stuff. So I got those grinded off, so now I'm going to take all these hoses, which means I have to remove all of this molding here. And I'm slowly just going to cut the hoses in chunks and get it all out of there. I'm going to try to salvage as much of the wire as I can because there's quite a bit of length of wire and the wire is actually pretty expensive. So I'm just going to work on that. I'll give you guys an update soon. Okay, doesn't look like much, but those tubes are out of there all the way across. I got the molding off, but that's really easy to put back on with the brad nailer. Same across here. That's out of there. Uh, a bunch of that wiring has to do with those switches, and one of them had to do with emergency exit, but I cannot trace it back out without screwing it up, so that's just going to get tucked away. And we're actually going to be building a bit of a wardrobe right here to put some clothes, so that's why we never actually framed the window properly. Uh, anyways, so far so good. And here's some of the scrap tubing that's out of there. The other awesome thing is, is I got all of this out of here. This wiring that went to the AC unit and that wire is actually really expensive so I can reuse it for some stuff. I have some security lights that we're going to put on the bus uh, so I'm going to use that wire. Hi Katie. Hi. Look at you. Uh, Robert went into the store to get some groceries because we don't have anything up here. Uh, now that I got the, or we got the unit out of here, this is the other side of this cabinet here. So we can actually utilize the backspace more easily accessible by putting this on here. So I got to modify this a little bit. 
um, just to duplicate this look and then we can retrim it. I have to put some furring strips up here and across there so that we have something to attach this uh, false ceiling to and then put the trim on. Uh, but so far so good. I may actually wire in another light in here possibly. And I may have to move that switch there up higher because now I can actually make my desk space here that I was originally planning to do but couldn't do because my head was hitting this thing. So it's getting there. Uh, feeling good about the progress today so far. We got Robert back, not vacuuming, sweeping because the garage is a bit messy and we need space to work. Okay, got that opened up. So now we just have to finish it so it looks the same and then we can finish the ceiling, do some wallpapering on the back and reframe that. And voila, AC unit is out of here. So the other part of the bus that we want to tackle is this. And it's part of the AC. So this is the condenser and it basically feeds the um, coolant or whatever it is through those hoses that I removed to the back AC. So we are gonna get under the bus and see what it's gonna look like to remove this. And then what we want to do is actually put a storage bin here so that we can store uh, exterior things like hoses and hoses for the gray water. So I just looked under the bus at the condenser. Not 100% sure if it's going to be doable. I might need to ask some people a few questions before I start pulling hoses out. So I'm going to leave that for now. But something that I've been dying to work on are these sconces that I kind of quasi made whatever over the winter while we were waiting to come out and work on the bus. So I'm going to start doing the install of these on that back wall there and then get that painting back up and installed. So that's up next. All right, this looks pretty cool. Definitely happy with all that installed. It's frustrating to install it, but I got it. So I'm just gonna do this side now and then put the picture back up and it'll look good. And number two is on. And there we go. It looks really cool. It's so neat to see those sconces up there. Love it. All right, I think we are gonna call it a day, but I'm not gonna complain because this turned out really cool. Definitely nailed the look we were going for. Uh, gotta do a bit of research on that condenser under the bus because if we can get that taken care of and make that a storage space, that would be awesome. Otherwise, I think we're pretty good. So until tomorrow, aloha. Goodbye. Goodbye, Robert. Good night.